We still have uh, Modi, you know, bound to run the country for a third term, which is a very significant result. But yes, not what people expected. And, I, you know, by all counts, it's really what we see in the U.S. too. People voting on the basis of right. how they live on daily life, economics, prices of food, job opportunities. Right. India has a very large uh, youth population, high levels of unemployment amongst young people. And problems when it comes to, you know, those level of jobs, education and health. And so that is a signal. And we will see an, an India in which uh, Moody has to govern slightly differently right. than the last several years. Leslie, you staggered through Wesleyan before you did LSE and you learned humility about polling. Does Leslie Vinger Murray trust the polling in America? I, you know, the polling is fine for what it is, but don't over don't draw a direct line from polling to whether you or I or our children or our neighbors or our friends get up and vote. And we all know that this, uh, more than anything else, is an election that is about do voters, are they enthusiastic, are they passionate enough to either vote for or in effect vote against Biden and Trump? Will they get out of bed? Will they vote? And especially will those voters that matter in those states that matter vote. So sure, the polling's, you know, it's interesting. Not a lot more than that at this stage, this many months out, and it doesn't tell us what we need to know, which is how inspired, how passionate are people. You know, so the things I would look at is young voters in swing states. Are they going to be mobilized to, in effect, vote against Biden because of the war in Gaza? Do they care about climate change? Therefore, they'll turn up for President Biden. How much are voters in the manufacturing sector still feeling the pressure on a daily basis of inflation, that would drive them to, you know, be enthusiastic to vote for Donald Trump, not for any rational reason, but as a vote against Biden. So there's lots yeah. of uncertainty here. We kind of know what matters, but no, the polling yeah. doesn't really, you know, it gives us something to talk about for never for for many many months. We have well, a long way to. Go. Well, yeah, Leslie. Election. I mean, I'd love to ask you about these elections in India, South Africa, and Mexico, but I mean, you went to the you went to Israel, so let's just go there. Israel Hezbollah rhetoric is heating up. Benny Gantz saying Israel will return residents to the north by step one, either through a deal or escalation. I mean, we've got wildfires in the north due to Hezbollah drone and rocket attacks. More than sixty thousand Israelis remain displaced. Talk to us about what comes next in Israel. Yeah, I. Uh there is not a clear path forward in this war. We're seeing um, Netanyahu doubling down on the, the war effort in Rafa to the great backlash from much of the rest of the world. We're seeing more pressure on President Biden and others to really try and get Israel to exercise restraint, but not a lot of that happening right now. We have this wild card of the International Criminal Court that's likely uh, to confirm an arrest warrant right. on the Israeli prime minister, which again, from all counts, is actually leading many Israelis to gather around. Um, you know, who uh, their prime minister has not been been very popular, but this isn't. This is actually working against that. So all sorts of uh, wild cards, but it's it's at the moment there is no clear sense that a deal is going to be delivered. Um, that the war is going to result in what everybody thinks needs to happen, which is a two-state solution. And there is that concern about what's going to happen uh, between Israel well, and, and and Lebanon. Leslie, I mean, I, I may not think this way. You may not think this way. But from what I, where I sit, most of America feels that a vote for the Republican Party for Donald Trump is a vote for Israel and vice versa. A vote, you know, for the Democratic Party is a vote against Israel. I mean, is is that something is that real do you believe that i mean is that the way the u.s uh election is headed right now i mean i, I don't think that young voters see that they see a, a president and president biden who's very been very pro-israel and a party that's very divided certainly has a progressive wing that wants to move in a different direction when it comes to america's support of israel but that has not been you know just in terms of america's military uh support of you of israel that's that's not at all been the case so I think that the story is much more complicated in terms of whether the Democratic Party, if you know President Biden were reelected, will pull back some mm -hmm. of, of that support. Very hard to, to, to say. I think in the medium term, in a longer lifespan, America's support of Israel is likely to diminish.